Hello there. I'm back. It's been a long time since the last video. And as you can see, I've been grinding Anime Fighting Simulator X. Update 2 came out, and I will be showing you the current fastest way to farm Yen and Chikara shards. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. For people who just started playing Anime Fighting Simulator X, here are a few tips. Use your Chikara shards from all the codes to spin for a good champion. Aim for Madara or All Might. But if you've got other mythics, it's all right. Mythic is mythic. Stands are not that great, so don't try to gamble all your Chikara for the legendary and mythic stand. Quirks, half hot, half cold, used to be the best because of ice spike damage, but it is nerfed. Currently, Overhaul is the best quirk, which is only obtainable by defeating Overhaul boss. But half hot, half cold is still a good quirk to have for the ice ability if you don't have ice fruit. If you got one tail special drop, upgrade it to third form as soon as possible. One tail special gives 60% damage boost to all attacks and 60% increase in health. Chikara, it might be the most valuable currency in game. So how do you actually farm Chikara? There are two ways. First is by farming the Dimension Boss Pain together with the Seven Timed World Boss. You can farm Pain no matter how many times you want, but timed boss spawns every 10 minutes following the real world time. For example, the first boss spawns at 110 and the next boss spawns 10 months after, with the last boss of the hour spawning at 150, and boss starts spawning again at 210. Farm timed world boss together with Pain to gain as much Chikara as you can. Using Chikara Boost also helps a lot. If you have eerie shards to spawn overhaul, use it. Overhaul gives the most Chikara drop with at least 10k Chikara though it has a 20 minute cooldown. You can also get Chikara from daily quest so make sure to finish it all before day's end. I will teach you how to farm pain effectively. If you still are at a lower side when it comes to total power, all you need is spirit bomb zero, flying slash and kai slash. As you can see in the video, start with spirit bomb and try to dash out of pain's abilities. Use two abilities right after successfully dodging Pain's abilities. But you can only use one ability if it has long cast time, such as Spirit Bomb and Dash Away before Pain uses his own ability. Just keep doing this until he's defeated and repeat. When you do it enough time, you'll get used to the timing and be able to solo him. If you have high total power, you can just use Fallen Down, Sierra, Raisin Shurken, One Tail Special and Mirror Fruit to melt bosses including Pain and Stain. Lastly, you can farm Chikara by AFFK Farming Stain but it's not as effective. All you have to do is stand behind the wall beside Stain and use ranged skill. This way you can also farm airy shards to spawn overhaul. The recent update introduced yen per minute for players even without Navi Champion. Yen earned increases per title. Gladiator title, which is the current max, gives 6k yen per minute. When farming yen, players should focus on grinding boss quest with Scion Captain and Stain being the best. Before anything else, don't forget to finish all available quests to get all the yen you can get. Use that yen to upgrade your stat multiplier. If you are below 10t total power, farm Cyan Captain which can be found on Monkey Server Boss Spawn Island. The quest gives 5 ki e yen and 10 ki e with yen boost. But if you have at least 10t total power, you can start farming Stain, which you can get from Falcon at Hero Academia Island or Overhuel Boss Island. But I recommend having higher total power to easily finish the quest and be able to use stronger abilities. Stain quest gives 12k yen and 24k with yen boost. Stain also has 5% chance to drop eerie shards. Fallen Down, Mira Fruit, Razen Shuriken and One Tail Special are some of the best to use when farming Stain because of the high damage they provide. And lastly, use all available codes to get as much Yen boost as you can. Remember, getting millions of Yen will still take time and commitment. That is all for today. If you have any question or suggestion for the next video, 
say it down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.